Howdy, howdy. There are a lot of important lands for human on Earth, such as Sinai Peninsula. In Egypt, we call it the Holy Land and the land of religious. Many writers explain Sinai as the biggest story of wars because of a lot of events that happened on Sinai throughout the history since ancient Egyptian time until now. A lot of people and a lot of societies tried to control Sinai but they failed. Regarding to uh, some main points, I don't know yet and I am trying to know exactly but it's difficult for me until now. Maybe one day I can find the main points uh, which let them fail. I'm so proud that Sinai belongs to Egypt since long time and until now and forever for good. Sinai was the food basket of the world in the old world. I'm not talking about the old world you know exactly, but I'm talking about the real old world. Ancient Egyptian lived in Sinai long ago and they created or they built a lot of things there, but some of it still not clear until now for us. We need a lot of work until we can find all these monuments and all these points or these things belongs to ancient Egyptians. Sinai is one of the main gates for the world. If you want to enter Africa, you have to pass by Sinai. Of course, through Egypt, and then you can enter Africa. It was like that since long time, and until now, still until now, of course. A lot of armies passed throughout Sinai, and a lot of events, as I told you. Even the transculture, you can understand it right well, or you can catch it right well through Sinai also. In this video, I will explain to you, of course, the dance or the folk dance of Sinai people, the Bedouin who live in Sinai. This is the map of Egypt. Most of you think that Egypt located in Africa, but we have Sinai which located in Asia. As you see our neighbors, Saudi Arabia and Levant area. Levant area, as you see now, Jordan and Palestine, but nowadays we have Israel. All of them, they influenced the Bedouin tribes in Sinai. Sinai consists of three different types or three different areas. North Sinai, which we call it Arish area. Middle of Sinai, which we call it El Ti and south of Sinai, which we call it El Tur. The distribution map of dances, we will start in Arish area. We have El Raza, El Dahya, and Mashrakeya. In the middle of Sinai, we have Dahya and Mashrakeya. South of Sinai, we have El Samer, which consists of El Khogur and of course El Raza. And of course now you I think you asking you asking yourself now where is Dabka dances? Dabka dances are in the north and in the middle. Most of you know exactly Dabka dances, but the rest I think you didn't hear before. During this video I will explain you much more about all these different types of dances. The musical instruments also are different and some of them I think you know. We will start first with Rababa. This type of musical instrument, it's not the same as the normal Rababa you know, but as you see in, the, in this photo, it is a little bit different in its shape. They have also something they call it Shababa. It looks like the Nai, but it is close to the Nai. Then the macrona, and or sometimes they call it magrona, which couple of nai together, and they have a special type of, uh, or let me say the way, a special way of uh, using to have the tune or have the music. Also, we have lot, which it is uh, 
famous since long time or common since long time in the area. Duff, which is very important for the rhythm and the tabla also. And nowadays they have the keyboard. As you saw exactly the T in the medal of Sinai, I think the T it means the maze due to the place is not or this area it is not so easy to pass through unless you know exactly everything around or every place around it is full of mountains and not so easy to pass through or someone can help you to let you pass through it Hoger or Hoger, it is about two lines of men standing in front of each other and women standing in the middle Two women from these women in the middle, each one of them, she look at one of the lines of men and she say poem. Men clapping onto her poem and the women in the middle, they are moving to the sides onto the rhythm of the clapping and also the tone of the poem. I think it is type of competition which line can clubbing right well or correct and can let women move in a correct way. I don't know exactly the meaning of hojur or hoger in English or even in Arabic too, but this word belongs to them. El Reza, it means in English could be clapping, uh, a type of clapping but was very loud, something like that. El Reza is not exist anymore or maybe it became rare now over there. It was about two half circles. Each circle have men facing them and he say poem. And in the middle, uh, a woman dancing with sword. Each half circle of both of these circles move onto the tone of a clapping and the poem to the dancer who standing in, a, uh, in the middle and they trying to let her move in a correct way onto their clapping and their tone. It was looks like a competition between these two half circles which one of them can let the dancers dancing in a perfect way. it means salute in English and tahiyya or tahiyya in Arabic it is about men stand up in, a, in one line in a front of dancer a woman dancing in a front of them they move together on clapping and they clapping they move together in a front onto their songs yes also until one area they uh, stop and sit down but with clapping and woman she dancing in front of them in one line then they stand up once more again and go back again to the place they started from the beginning it is something like that her type of dance looks like a jelly dance <laughs> El Mashrakiya, it is the same as El Raza, as I explained to you before. But they sit down and stand up in front of the two dancers while they are clapping and say this type of poems. But their poems is longer than El Raza. So it is like that. It is a little bit different than El Raza by sit down and stand up and sit down and stand up and go to the front and go to the back. It is like that. There are one dance I didn't mention but I love to share with you and to tell you is also they uh, do it or they did it since long time. Now not anymore because, because it is difficult. It is the same as El Raza or El Mashrakiya but the main point is uh, they tried all the time to uh, see which one of the dancers can stay longer on dancing more than the other. The one she can stay longer without feel pain or tired, that means exactly she win. This type of dance they call it Marbua. Marbua. 
appeared in the beginning in north of Sinai with these Bedouin tribes who came from Levant area. It is about men stand up in one line and the first one of them uh, have a stick. This stick have a ball in the one side and they start dancing in one line but sometimes they go to the front and go back and go to the both sides. It is something like that, very easy like that. But it is not the same as the Dabka from Lebanon or from Syria. It has different types of dance steps. Maybe one day I will uh, create a video talking about the lines and circles and why people doing something like that while they're dancing. I will explain you much more about it, but through this video I will create soon. So this is the video of today, which I hope you like it. And of course, if you have any comment or any question, please send to me and we can discuss together. Thank you very much. I will be waiting for your comments and your questions. See you in the next video.